Senator Feinstein for her decades of work for the annual Tahoe Summit. Well, if any single historical artifact of pulp culture associated with our community stands out above the rest, it is the locally produced music of the 1950s and 60s we've come to know as the Bakersfield Sound. The sound itself has faded with time, but tributes to that special time and place keep popping up. In his ongoing series, Where We Live, 17's Robert Price offers a preview of the latest coming this Sunday. The makers of the latest celebration of the Bakersfield sound, that raucous music that came out of Bakersfield in the 50s and 60s, picked an appropriate title for their documentary. Trouble and Twang pretty accurately captures the key musical characteristics of the country music that bubbled forth more than half a century ago right here on these streets where we live. But the ambitious film, which premieres Sunday afternoon at the Fox Theater after at least one pandemic-related postponement, isn't just about the music. It's about the characters, too. The colorful personalities who lifted the music from honky-tonk to billboard charts to living room TVs. Sisters Di Sharman and Glenda Rankin, who've dedicated a couple decades of their lives to preserving local history, especially local music, are two of the primary forces behind the documentary. The sisters helped arrange the transfer of Merle Haggard's boyhood home, a converted railroad boxcar, from a modest Oildale neighborhood to the Kern County Museum. My father and mother would certainly be surprised and to see what's happened with the old boxcar. The documentary, says Di Sharman, was a logical next step in their quest to preserve local history. We were trying to figure out what, how we were going to keep a promise we'd made to the musicians. When we were working on the boxcar, we told them, if we ever get this boxcar to the museum, we're going to do something to honor you. Meeting Tommy Hayes, Jimmy Phillips, Larry Petrie, those three men had so many wonderful stories that they shared with us. We said, it's got to be a little video, and that's what we thought it would be, a little video with those three guys. The finished version runs two and a half hours and covers the Dust Bowl migration, the honky-tonks, the local TV shows, and the sub-genre's legacy today. There's no other place on the planet that has that to represent like we do. Now, Nashville is a, is a business community of music, but we made a sound. We created a sound here like no other city in the world. The sisters, along with filmmakers Chuck and Tammy Barbie, interviewed a huge cast of characters, including Sidemen, the musicians who played alongside Buck Owens, Merle Haggard, and Red Simpson. The screening is part of a Bakersfield Sound family reunion weekend that includes a fundraiser for the Bakersfield Country Music Museum, a Saturday afternoon jam session at the Old River Monte Carlo Saloon on Taft Highway, and the Bakersfield Museum of Art's soon-to-end exhibit, The Bakersfield Sound, Roll Out the Red Carpet. The curtain goes up at 2 p.m. this Sunday at the Fox Theater for Treble and Twang. Hats and boots are optional, but in an attitude that has an appreciation for the music that came out of these streets, this place where we live, that's mandatory. At the Kern County Museum, Robert Price, 17 News. <laughs> Hats and boots are optional? I think they would be required, wouldn't they? <laughs> I would think so, yeah. <laughs> that would wear nothing less. All right. Well, as the evacuation of Americans continues in Afghanistan, national leaders say we can't forget our translators. We want to make sure that we're taking care of those people that have helped us. Still to come here on 17 News at 6, the struggle to get everyone out.